Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another week here at the One Number YouTube channel. Uh, today's topic, I want to cover how to unhide almost anything in Tableau. Uh, I had some serious moments of like, oh my gosh, so much stress uh, when I started using Tableau and I would accidentally hide something, right? Like you hide the data pane or you hide a title and you're like, where do I go to bring this thing back? So for newer users or experienced folks that have just like, found weird workarounds like closing the workbook and reopening it. I'm hoping that I'm going to save you all some time um, how to unhide uh, different things here in Tableau. Um, okay, so let's start with one of the most frequently asked questions. How do you unhide a sheet, right? So when a, when a worksheet is used in a dashboard, the worksheet can actually be hidden. It's so that you don't have so, so many tabs at the bottom of your Tableau workbook. Um, but you know, if you inherited a dashboard from somebody and you don't know, you can't find the sheet, you want to make an edit, ah, you know, I want to add another filter to this worksheet or something, um, what do you do? So right now, this hidden sheet is here in this unhide a sheet uh, dashboard. And you can actually see it, uh, the name of the, the sheet here, hidden sheet, uh, but it's not showing up anywhere on the uh, list of objects down at the bottom of my Tableau dashboard. So if you suspect there's a hidden sheet in a dashboard, what you can do is right click on that dashboard and say unhide all sheets. Um, I believe you can also unhide a singular sheet by just right clicking on that sheet um, over here, kind of in the uh, dashboarding menu and just deselecting hide. So a couple different ways of getting at that. Uh, if I right click on the worksheet and say hide, it will hide it. So a worksheet can only be hidden once it's used in a dashboard. So uh, you, know, you shouldn't have that issue for kind of just a standalone worksheet. All right, uh, cool. Now on to the next thing, hiding and unhiding an axis, right? So let's say that you hide an axis for you know some formatting reason. So you know, right click and deselect show header. Okay, so that axis uh, title is gone, right? So if you do some other steps and then you're like, ah, you know what, I changed my mind. I actually, I do want that. Um, how do I bring that back, right? So you don't have to do the back arrow a hundred times or if you saved and closed it, you can't do that. Uh, so where you would go to unhide an axis is you just right click on the measure that that axis is tied to uh, and then select show header. Boom, brings it back, right? Uh, same thing actually goes for uh, dimensional headers as well. So if I right clicked on subcategory and deselected show header, the subcategory labels go away, uh, but if I right click on a subcategory again and say show header, they're back. If that doesn't seem to bring it back, like let's say with that axis, for instance, you you do that and the, the header is showing, you know, like you right click there and it says uh, the header is showing. What you might wanna double check is just that somebody hasn't edited the axis and taken all the tick marks off and taken the title off. Because for instance, if I edit this axis, I could theoretically wipe out the title and set tick marks to none. And now it looks like there's no axis, but really I've just formatted it um, so that it's not showing up. So that's the other thing to check. If you do, you could always try and right click. And if there's an option that says edit axis, it's not hidden. Uh, it's just been formatted in such a way that it's not showing up, you know, unless the title uh, and or tick marks are restored. Okay, unhiding a field, right? So I've got a question at the top of this worksheet. What was our busiest ship date? So let's say I wanna see, okay, first I'm gonna see the number of orders that were packed. So I'm gonna do a little right click and drag of order ID to columns and get a distinct count. I'm actually gonna put that on rows, change my mind. Okay, now I want ship dates to be uh, the individual columns. Um, but I don't see a ship date field, right? Or I search for ship and the only thing coming up is ship mode. Like what's happening? I know this data, I know there's a ship date there. So maybe I hit it, maybe somebody else hid this, but this field has been hidden. Um, so what I wanna do to restore a hidden field, a uh, couple ways of doing this really. Um, so I can right click on just any field in my data pane and uh, Nope, that's not true. I can't right click on any field. If I can find some white space, I think, so maybe like under measure values, I can right click and say show hidden fields. Um, or if you don't have to try and find white space like that, just hit this little carrot drop down to the right of the search bar and then uh, show hidden fields. And then actually, I didn't even know this, but there's other hidden fields here. Um, so you can see ship date is grayed out. That's my indicator that it is currently hidden. 
So if I right click on ship date and unhide, now I should be able to, you know, use this as if nothing ever happened. So what was my busiest ship date? Uh, I don't know, whatever that is, November 16th. I can't see the rest of it because it's getting cut off by the little meeting interface, but that's okay. November 16th, I'm guessing 2021. Okay. Uh, so what happens if you did that and it didn't bring your field back? Um, so a couple things to look for if you're still pretty certain there's a field, but you can't find it. Uh, okay, so idea number one, check your data source and make sure that it is not an extract, okay? Because if somebody has turned the data source into an extract, that means that they've created a localized copy of the data where you can perform certain kinds of alterations like filtering or hiding columns. And if a column is hidden and then the extract is created, you, you might not see it there upon unhiding it. If that's not the issue, if you, uh, oh, and how do you know if you have an extract? Uh, just a kind of quick way to know, you see this little single cylinder here with the blue check mark next to it, that's a live connection. Um, an extract, and excuse my like horrible drawing here, but it will basically have like kind of a dual cylinder. So you'd have like this cylinder, this cylinder, and then you'd have an arrow wrapping around it. That is a horrible sketch, but if you see something like that, that's your indication that it's an extract. So if you still don't see it after that, I would recommend going back to your data source. And uh, it could be that the field was renamed. Right. So a quick way to find your original field names is to go from this preview data source button to this manage metadata button. And then it will tell you, oh, row ID, that was originally row ID. Right. So what could have happened is somebody could have renamed this to, you know, order out date or I don't know, whatever weird thing. Right. And then you can't find ship date anymore because it's been renamed. So that's one more place to check. All right, let's carry on. Unhide the data pane. Oh my gosh. Okay, so when I first started using Tableau, like whatever it was, 2013, 2014, I accidentally uh, closed my data pane and I couldn't find it and probably like hyperventilated for an hour and, you know, almost left the industry. So uh, what happened? Okay, so depending on what version of Tableau that you're running, uh, first of all, the data pane will, should always be here. Uh, and then I'm in 2021.2, so my arrow is facing this way, meaning this little arrow here. Uh, if you're in older versions, it might be facing downwards. So if you hit this arrow, it's either going to collapse the data pane to the left side of your screen. That's how it does it now, more intuitive. Um, or back in the day when it was the down arrow, it would collapse it down to the bottom of your screen and it would just be this like little <laughs> tiny section at the bottom on your status bar, which... I think I'm not the only one that had a minor freak out moment when they did that on accident. So if your data pane is hidden, that's probably all that it is, is you just need to select it and uh, bring it back like that. Uh, or, you know, the same thing can happen down there at the bottom of your screen. All right, unhiding data values. Um, so let's say that uh, either you hid some data or you suspect a user did. Um, so let's say, what is our yearly profit trend, right? So let's say for some reason, somebody decided, no, I really don't want to see eight, 2018 as part of this chart. So let's just right click and uh, let's just hide that uh, value. So now 2018 is not showing up. It's kind of a weird side note, but it's funny that it doesn't actually say anywhere that there's hidden data. I wish there was like a little eye with a cross through it or just some sort of visual indicator that there's hidden data there. Um, but there's not, so maybe like add a note to yourself or a caption or something if you do hide data and that's important for you or future users to know that. Uh, but how to restore hidden data. So you go to the field where you hid something. So in this case, year of order date, I'm gonna right click on this pill and I'm gonna select show hidden data and that'll bring it back. There might be one or two other places to do that, but that's usually where I go is I just go to the field where I suspect there's hidden data and unhide. Okay. That doesn't bring it back. Check your filters. Just make sure that, you know, there's not like some sort of weird filter or table calculation filter that's hiding the data, but really basically excluding it from the sheet. Um, how to unhide a legend. Uh, this would probably go, you know, let's just do a legend. Okay. So, uh, so I've got this uh, color legend up here in the top, right? So let's say that I uh, hide that, right? Um, and I want to bring that back, right? So the, the fastest place to go for that, I think, is this little uh, button here on your toolbar called uh, Show Hide Cards. So I hit this drop down, and then notice that there's uh, numerous sections. Um, one of those is Legends, and I can always 
bring the color legend back like this. That also, you'll notice there are other things there like filters as well. So, you know, if I ever had a filter that was added to this worksheet and then I decided to hide that card and I'm like, yeah, I want that back. Uh, I can either right click on the uh, pill in the filters card and just say show filter uh, or, you know, those things can also be toggled on and off here as well. Okay, you can see that goes for things like highlighters and parameters as well, if you want to hide and hide those from here. And really all these shelves, right? So I guess that's probably another thing I should add to this is, you know, if for some reason like the, the row shelf or the column shelf gets hidden, like that's a problem, right? Like, okay, I want to add another field to columns or rows. Like now where do I go? Um, so I'm going to hit the drop down here and then notice that the row shelf and uh, the column shelf can be brought back like so. Okay. Um, how to unhide a title. So let's say, okay, I got this title. What is our sales trend by month of order date? And uh, let's say that that gets hidden. And then later I'm like, give me back my title. Um, I didn't realize it was this easy. I could just right click and select title. Uh, but if that's not working for some reason, um, sometimes where I'll go to bring back a title like that would be the uh, worksheet drop down on my toolbar. And then notice that there's options for things like title and caption and summary here. So if I just say show title, that'll bring it back. All right, here's kind of an all timer, um, how to unhide uh, field labels. So a field label is like the little header for the pill. So notice this is a sales breakdown of ship mode and region. So let's say those are gone, right? Let's say that I'd right clicked and hidden ship mode and I right clicked and hid the region label. And then somebody's like, can, can we add some labels to this? Like, I don't know what field that these are referring to. And I'm like, yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, so one option, you can just right click back in the white space and say show field label. I don't know if that always works though. Like notice I, I I'm having a hard time doing that for the uh, column labels. So let me hide the field label again. So where do you go for this? If you like can't click in just the right spot to right click and bring it back. Fun fact, you go to the analysis drop down on your toolbar, uh, table layout, because that's where you'd expect to look. And uh, I'm gonna say show field labels for rows, analysis, table layout, show field labels for columns. And they're back. Um, cool, all right, so I've got one more for you here, which is how to unhide a dashboard. So like a worksheet can be hidden in a dashboard, a dashboard can be hidden in a story. Um, so notice I got a story here and uh, it's a very lame story just for the sake of example. Uh, and I got this dashboard called the hidden dashboard. Um, so very similar to unhiding a worksheet. I can either right click on the dashboard and unhide from there. Um, or I can right click on my story tab and say unhide all sheets. And then that brings back that dashboard that was hidden. Cool. So I think we covered a lot of ground here. I hope that answered some questions of yours around uh, specific things that you need to unhide in Tableau. If you've run into anything else uh, that you want to unhide, let me know. We can always uh, put an addendum on this video or uh, create a follow-up video to uh, take care of those situations. So uh, thanks for dropping by. We appreciate it. And we look forward to catching you here on another video next week.